I get asked a lot of questions with regards to making a dark black background. So with this one, I'm just going to show you how I do my black and whites for the, the parent hand shot, the hanging shot, that kind of thing. So what I do, there are two ways that you can darken out the background. If I'm just going to be dragging that across to a, um, a digital, all I would do is a curves layer. I'll darken that right down because what I want to do is um, create a dark um, edge to the posy. So I'm going to put that mask on and then I'm going to invert it off. Then I'm going to paint it back in at 100% all around the edges so that when I drag that across, it's going to be nice and dark around the edges and the texture of the posy won't come across. So the reason why the posy works so well with this is that the brown shadows up the side, sorry, the warm shadows up the side of whatever you put on the posy um, are not blue in tone. That's why um, the posy is colored brown. So with this one, all I'm going to be doing is bringing, darkening down this layer here right next to the baby wrap because if I bring that across, I can also darken that down even more using curves. So I'll just darken that down even more. Then what you can do to erase it off, I'll just come in, you can reduce that opacity down so that when you're painting that back off with your black brush, you can um, see where the edges are. So what I'm doing is I've got my black brush, so that layer is going to come off now all around the edge of that. So that darkening down will just erase off the edge of this, so that way you can capture all of that detail along the edge of the wrap. I find that just reducing that opacity makes it a little bit easier to see the edge. So I'll just see where we, how we're going with that. You can see that, that nice, you can sort of see it um, even if you don't take it off. Um, but I want to make sure I've got a nice edge in there and that come up nice and close. The left hand side is not such a big issue because I'll be erasing right back up to the edge there due to the fact that the light is coming from that side so there'll be very little shadow. So I tend to, to try and keep as much of the detail of the fuzziness. Um, I may have to erase some of that off just because it's very difficult to try and e edit that back in unless you use uh, content, not content to wear, um, refine edge tool. So what I'm doing is I just get that all nice and smooth there. So then I might bring my white brush back in to paint some of that curves layer back in. So just so that that's nice and dark there and there any any edges around here. Now it looks look pretty good. That edge there. Like I said, the left hand side you don't have to be too worried about because it's not going to be your shadow layer, but the right hand side is going to be your shadow layer. So I'm just going to make sure I'm not missing too much of the edge of that. So um, what I'll come out now, I'll have a look. I think we might try and get some of that in as well. So that becomes the shadow layer as well in here. Just in there. So that one there, we're not too worried about that bit. All right, so what I'll do now is just use my backspace key and I can see there, where are we? Um, there, I've taken that off. So I will just make sure that comes up nicely to the edge, which I'm happy with. I'm happy with that. So I'll take that off and then I will flatten that image. Sometimes I save that as well, just, and I'll save that as, um, I'll put D on the end, which means that that image there has been the, is the darkened version. So I will add that back in um, to, to my file so that I know that I can drag that across. So what I've done with this backdrop, I've just taken a plain backdrop, which I'll be adding to the store, but this is one that I've painted myself. This is just plain so that I can give some of the um, images I create a different kind of hand painted backdrop instead of just black. So the reasoning for dragging that across is that it, I just want to enhance that image rather than just making it black in the background. So with that one, I've just put a hue and saturation. I've dragged it across to, um, I'll just do it again. So hue and saturation, take that off. 
there, that's it there. So I will uh, drag that to the blue section up here and I'll darken it down a little bit and you can either make it more saturated or not. So that one there, I'll just bring to the blues. There we go. That's pretty much what I did before. So what I'll do is I'll just flatten that image now so we don't get confused. So then I will be bringing my baby image across. So this way I will drag baby across to where I want. I'll try and get a kind of the size that I want as well. Just make baby a little bit bigger. Take that right up to the edge. So now I'm going to put a mask on that layer. I will invert the layer so that now I paint back with my white brush where I would like the baby to come. So basically baby's here. So I'm at 100% bringing that baby image in. So part of what I do now is sometimes you can add a little bit more on this side. Um, you can just add, here we go, I'm at about 30% there, add a bit there if you want. And then I might come back in now and start to um, use my soft brushes. So I'm going to go to the black brush, which means I'm taking uh, away the layer. So what I do is just come back and I paint, paint that black off, especially on the light side. So I'm going to erase as much as I can right up to the edge of that wrap. So I'm just erasing that now using my 14% IMAP. And then I can come back over my image and paint right up to the edge. So now I've got to come back out. I've just got to grab my, apparently, I'm just going to come back out and see how we're going. So it's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is um, move the baby image across a little bit to the middle. There we go. I quite like that he's quite small in the center. So I'm going to bring, um, I'm going to come back in with my white brush, which means that I'm going to be painting in solid around the baby. So what I'm going to do, come in really close and then I'm going to do short brushes so that I get in right in up close to that edge of the, um, the wrap. You can see some of the fibers along the edge there. You can still see them. Oh, what happened then? All right, let's take that one off. 
my Photoshop's doing some lagging stuff, which I'm not happy about. But... There we go. Sometimes I just go backwards. It's easier to just quickly whip backwards in the history. Come back in here. Because what you're wanting is a really nice sharp edge along here because the light is hitting that side of the baby. You can see from the left how strong it is. So what I'm trying to do with, um, with the edging is I know that I'm going to have shadowing all around here. So just get that one. So I know that the shadow is going to drop after, off after this part here. So I'm just trying to go right up to the edge there of the hanging, the wrap. Then I'll use my backspace key to make sure that I've got all the edges nicely. Um, it's looking, looking quite good up here. So what I'll do is just make sure I've got all the detail along the edge. Oh, that went out. It's a lot easier if you just, I just backspace key, do short brushes so that then I don't have to re-bring in that, that dark shadowing on the, the left hand side again. So I'll just make sure I've got Here's my, I'm at 100% so I'm painting in all of that. Alright, so I'll just make sure I've got all of my image here. So I'm at 100% painting that back in. And then I'm going to take some of this off at a low opacity in here. So we get a little bit of the blue showing through here. Same thing that I did on the sides, so you can kind of get a feel that there's, um, but I will get a shadow through there afterwards, so. So I'll just get that nice and cleaned up there, and then I'll paint in the edge again. So we're going to paint in the solid edge at 100% along the edge of, making sure the baby is all painted in, all along the edge of that wrap and that romper all up around there. Let me scoot it across there. So I think we're looking pretty good. I don't want to take too much time on it. But you can kind of get a feel for when we come back out how it's looking. We are going to have a nice little shadow in the middle there and then we have to start creating that sense of light. So what I'm going to do now is do my backspace key and I'm going to paint in 100% where I can see I've missed painting in. So this is where it's really important because otherwise that's part of the baby's missing in these areas. So where you see the red part, this is where I've actually not painted part of the baby in when I've been painting it back in. So I make sure I cover all the red parts so that we've got a nice solid image. There we go. So I'll take that backspace key off. And then, now that we're looking pretty good, I'm going to come in close to the edges and see if I need to erase back any of those dark edges at the sides. So 
some of these parts here, I'm going to come in at 9% and just soften that dark edge around there so that we don't get a solid drop off to the shadow area there. So a little bit more of that dark edge I can get rid of there. That means you don't kind of have a solid drop off in the black. So I'm just making sure I've got all of any of those little black areas that look a little bit like they're not matching the light. I just take those off. So I'm again at um, 9%. I'm going to come back in at 100 and make sure I haven't erased off any important information along here in my kind of mini editing just then. So I'm just going to come back over that area there. I just don't want to lose any information. So now I kind of feel like it's the fun bit. So what I sometimes do is go in and I save a Photoshop version of this image. Um, I'm back in this one here. So I'm saving a Photoshop version because that's all my hard editing done. So I could drag that across to another image now if I wanted to. So at the moment I'm going to come back out. So what we've got to do now is kind of suggest the lighting that this is creating. And what I will do is I will do a curves layer and I will do the bright side. So we can see some of the edging is still a bit dark. So I'm going to do a curves layer. I'll mask that. I'll invert that back off. So that way I can paint where I want it with my white brush at say 11%. I'm going to suggest that the lighting is coming from the same direction here that's hitting the baby's face. So we need to have little pops of light over in this side on the background. So it's suggesting not necessarily always over to the top, but around about over here because this is the direction of the light hitting the baby. I can see I need to take some of the darkness around still off the edge of that baby image there. Then, which I might do now so that I save myself having to do it, I can still see that there's too much darkness there. So I'm going to get my black brush. I'll go right down small. Still want to get a lot, some of it off. So I can see it not so much on the um, it's not such a concern with the wrap because you can see that the light is coming from oh, you can see that the light is coming from that left hand side and really hitting the basket there. So I'm not too concerned about that. I just really want it to look like the lights coming from there. So I'll just come back in. And then I'll where are we? There. And then I'll just see, I can see that I've kind of taken a lot of that darkness off with those few strokes there so that you can't really see it. So what I'm going to do now is do um, a curves layer at the back to now create some of the shadows. And then I'm going to mask that off. Come back out and now I'm going to paint that in with my white brush. At yeah, about 11%. So now I'm going to just come in nice and big with some, actually I might go down a little bit lower. So what I'm doing is suggesting the lighting and the shape of the baby and it's coming from this direction. So it's going to have to come in around here. In the shape of the basket. So it's going to come in here very much to, to around here. So you can see how I'm creating the shadow 
that matches the shape of the hanging basket and that is under my baby image so I'm not going on top of my baby image. And then what I want to do, you can see that coming back out, how you've got that sense of depth now with the hanging basket, with the shadows there. I can see a little bit of a line up in here, um, but I will just try and erase some of that so that I can bring it out evenly. So with my white brush, my black brush, I mean, I'm going to come in and take some of that, that original shadow area off there so that the, I don't have a drop off. I can see that that's what's happened as I've left some of that image there. So what I might do so that the immediate edge then drops off with some of the posy image, which is very light, is I might just do a bit of a, a bringing some of that image right next to the edge there. Just in the exact same direction of the light that's coming from this way. So the shadow would just be around like that. So we're going to bring that back. You can see there the depth so it looks like it could be hanging against a wall. So, um, so that is it. And I would do some other little finishing touches, but that is the basic technique. One of, if I was to say I would add anything else, I would also add potentially a, um, a dodge and burn layer over the top just to lift some of the elements that don't necessarily match the lighting. So what I would then do is a layer, new fill, no, new layer, layer, uh, soft light, fill with grey, okay, and then over the top I might then just enhance some of those areas with my white brush where I want to lift the light a little bit. So I might lift the light on the side here because that's suggesting a similar light coming from that side that's hitting the wrap on the side there because the light's coming from that side on the baby. So I might just lift the light on that side a bit more. What I do is that I, I make the light kind of hit some of the, the fabric textures so that you can enhance the light in the way the light would fall on textures. So that there, what I might do is add a little bit of shadow, um, where's my shadow layer is here, add a bit of shadow behind to give you an idea of what I would do here. So that's my white brush. So a little bit of shadow behind there as well. That is underneath my baby layer. So that's giving the sense that you can't really see through that hanging wrap there. And then I'm got, I've got my dodge and burn layer again here. So sometimes I can add a bit more shadow on this side if I feel like I need that. So I'm at 6% so I can just go in some of these areas here and add a little bit more shadow depth around the side here. And this is on the edge of my baby image. So I can add some more shadow on that side. So it feels like the light's definitely hitting from the left. So I'll just show you what that looks like. A little bit more depth and a bit more light lifting up on that top side. There we go. So I could go even closer and just come in with my white brush again and lift some of that edging here. So I'm at 6%. I'll just lift some of that edge there a little bit more so it looks like the light's hitting it. I might just lift some of that in there. There we go. So I might just come out now so you can see there how that works. Alright, I'm going to post that in the group shortly. And um, yeah, so if you have any questions just let me know.